the most interesting information of facts of our beautiful planet. In this video, we're going to count down the 10 longest rivers in the world. But before we start, how do scientists determine the longest river? There are many factors, such as identification of the source, the identification or definition of the mouth, and the scale of measurement of the river length between the source and the mouth that determines the precise meaning of the river length. As a result, the length measurements of many rivers are only approximates. In particular, there seems to be an existing disagreement to, as to whether the Nile or the Amazon is the world's longest river. Therefore, watch until the end of this video to find out which is indeed the longest river in the world. Number 10. The Amar or the Heilongjiang is the world's 10th longest river, forming the border between Russia, Far East and Northeastern China. The Amar proper is 2,824 km long and has a drainage basin of 1.8 million square kilometers. Including its source, the river Argon, it is 4,440 km long. The river originates in the junction of Shilka River, which rises in the Russian Federation, and the Argon River, which rises in the Manchuria. The river is the biggest shipping artery in the far eastern Russia. Number 9. Perhaps the most mysterious river, and certainly the second longest after the Nile, the Congo River winds its way in part through virgin rainforests. Given the global deforestation of the rainforest, the whole Congo River and basin region is considered critical to the ecological health of the world. Crossing the equator twice on its journey to the southern DRC to the Atlantic Ocean, the Congo River is a water source to forest dwelling species as diverse as the forest elephant, gorillas, lions, hyenas, antelopes and over 600 species of fish. Number 8. The Pena River is a river in South Central South America, running through Brazil, Paraguay and Argentina for some 4,800 kilometers. It is second in length only to the Amazon River among the South American rivers. The name Paraná is an abbreviation of the phrase Para, René or Nava, which comes from the Tupi language and means like the sea. It merges with the Paraguay River and then farther downstream with the Uruguay River to form the Rio de Plata and empties into the Atlantic Ocean. The first European to go up the Paraná River was the Venetian explorer Sebastian Cabot in 1526 while working for the Spanish crown. Number 7. River is the largest in Russia. Located in western Siberia, which merges with the Irtysh River from Kazakhstan to become the Ob Irtysh. The Ob Basin stretches across much of western Siberia covering semi-desert, grassland, forests and plains. The river is frozen for half of each year and through the rest of the year is heavily used for transportation of people and goods. Number 6. Second longest river and of six longest river in the world, the Yellow River, is an estimated 5,464 kilometers in length. The river has its source in the mountains of Western China's Qinghai province and flows eastwards to the Bohai Sea. The Yellow River Basin was the birthplace of ancient Chinese civilization and for a long time the most prosperous region in the country. Over the centuries there have been a number of large-scale disasters along the river with some floods killing more than a million people and large shifts of the river course. Modern dams have all but removed the serious flooding of the river. Number 5. The Yenisei is the fifth longest river in the world and the largest river to drain into the Arctic. With its source in Mongolia, the Yenisei drains a large part of central Siberia as it flows northwards to the Kara Sea. Many Nordic tribes, such as the Ketani Yu people, have lived along the banks of the river since records began, and the Yenisei hosts the Tamir, the largest reindeer herd in the world, for their winter grazing. The Yenisei sadly suffers from pollution caused by radioactive discharge from a plutonium factory 
in what is now the city of Zelenogorsk. Number four, when measured from its traditional source in Lake Atasca, the Mississippi River has a length of 3,300 kilometers. But measured from Brower's Spring in Montana, the Mississippi's most distant source from the sea, the river is actually 5,970 kilometers long. This officially makes Mississippi the fourth longest river in the world. The river, its floodplain, is home to the diverse range of wildlife, some 260 species of fish. 40% of the USA's migratory water flow and 145 species of amphibians and reptiles. Number 3. This is the longest river in Asia and the third longest in the world and the longest in the world to flow entirely through one country. It rises in the Jari Hill in the Tangula Mountains and flows 6,300 kilometers in a generally easterly direction to the East China Sea. It is the sixth largest river to discharge volume in the world. Its drainage basin comprises one third of the land area of China and is the home of nearly one third of the country's population. The Yangtze has played a major role in history, culture and economy of China. For thousands of years, the river has been used for water irrigation, sanitation, transportation, industry and boundary marking and war. Number two in the world is the Amazon River, which starts in the high Andes Mountains in eastern South America, runs through the world's largest rainforest, taking seven countries along the way, and discharges into the Southern Atlantic Ocean. While it may not be the longest river on the planet, it's without any challenge the world's largest river, with a width of 190 kilometers in some places during the rainy season and dumping an estimate of 209,000 cubic meters of water into the Atlantic Ocean every second. That is a huge amount of water. Number one, the Nile River. The Nile River is approximately 6,650 kilometers. It is to believe the world's longest river. Located in Africa, the Nile River lies in the following countries Kenya, Eritrea, Congo, Burundi, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, Egypt, Sudan, and Ethiopia. The Nile River has a huge significance in regards to ancient Egypt. Most of ancient Egypt's historical sites are located along the banks of the Nile River, including cities such as Luxor and Cairo. The Nile Delta in northern Egypt is where the Nile River drains into the Mediterranean Sea. It's about 160 kilometers in length and spreads over 240 kilometers of the coastline. It is rich in agriculture and has been farmed for, for over thousands of years. Around 40 million people, half of Egypt's population, live in the Nile Delta region. 